we're on the road to Rio as we get into the starting gate with BMX world champion Nick Kimmon. When I started racing BMX, I just did it for fun. I lived at a farm. We had quite a lot of space around the house and I would always ride around the house with my little brother. One day, my best friend came to school with a BMX bike and I was like, that's cool, I wanna try that. So I joined him to a session at our local track and that's where it all started. Okay, riders, random start. Riders ready, watch the gate. In BMX, people say that if you're into the first turn first, you have 80% chance you're gonna win. I'm not saying it's impossible to win with a bad start, but you definitely make it a lot more difficult for yourself. When I line up on the gate, I try to be as relaxed as possible. Don't think about anything but getting a good start. I always focus on my breathing when I'm on the gate just to relax and don't try to be interrupted by anything else. Once they start a call, then it's just try to get your movement forward as smooth as possible. Try to get the, the timing right out of the gate. So you want to make sure your core is stable so you're not losing any energy. Well, BMX asks for a high power output out of the starting gate. And since the start is that important, I mean, the first two and a half seconds pretty much decides uh, the whole race. So a lot of emphasis is put on generating a lot of power. Watch the gate. All the power in your legs, you want to go straight into your bike. Try to stay as straight as possible. The first couple cranks, it's about power, and then you want to get to your top speed. At the bottom of the ramp, we go more than 60 kilometers per hour. You try to push through it to get the speed because it's just too steep to pedal through it. So you pump and then you stop pedaling immediately after it. It's really a combination of pedaling fast and your skills on the bike. This morning we had a gym session. We started off with some stretching just to make sure your body is warm when you start lifting weights. We start with some power cleans and back squat just to get stronger and to get your explosivity right. We pedal with our legs of course, but in BMX you really want to get speed out of the backside so you really have to train your arms too to be able to push and get speed. Yeah, in the weight room we're not only training our legs, but also upper body, actually we're training the whole body. As opposed to maybe a road rider who's in the same position for like five or six hours and mainly uses his legs. But a BMXer is all over his bike during those 35 seconds. And every little power you can gain, not only out of your legs, but also upper body, is uh, trying to be used. Nick, in regard to his training program and the whole process, made an, a huge leap forward over the last two or three years. Only this winter alone he improved the squats in the weight room by, uh, by 30 kilos, which is a lot for a young guy like that. So he improved on all levels, not only in the weight room, but also on his bike. When I came to the development team when I was 15, the first time I was in the gym or I had to do a road ride, I was like, I'm a BMX racer, why do I have to do all this stuff? But after a year, I found out that it actually made me faster. That really helped to do that kind of stuff. I'm not saying I like every single session, but I like training hard most of the time. In BMX you want to be as strong as possible as long as it's not compromising your agility. Of course you want to be strong to get a good first couple cranks out of the gate, but it's just the first couple seconds where it's really about battling fast and after that you just want to keep your momentum, keep your speed on the jumps. And you can be really good on the first straight, but if you don't have the skills to get around the rest of the track, other guys will still pass you and that, that's not what you want. So you have to be good at everything to win a BMX race. I've been racing BMX for almost 13 years. It's like walking, it just comes so naturally. When you jump a new jump for the first time, sometimes it's up to 30 meters and you clear it perfectly the first time you jump it. After racing for so many years, you just know what your bike's gonna do. When I take my bike, it's not like I have to get used to it. It's like it's part of my body almost. I just like BMX in general, but maybe I like the racing part most. 
battling with seven other guys at the same time, like 40 seconds. It's pretty much all or nothing, just to, to give everything you have and try to be the best.